Okay. Now I've chimed in. There's a couple of key concepts that um, I find really good in building up a base of knowledge for future maths or reading, etc. And one of them is we've spoken about friends of 10 a lot. Okay, and that is really important. Friends of 10 are very important when it comes to future learning and math concepts down the road. Oh, I've just shown up in the other corner. So, sorry, guys, this is just me thinking out loud and looking at myself. Love it, love it. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is just quickly, I'm going to show you a quick activity you can do. Not a hard one, it's not hard at all, but it will help cement um, prior knowledge as well as uh, getting your different number facts consistent, okay, and accessible a lot. And we've done this one somewhat with tens of friend. Tens of friend. Oh, golly. Yes, D, I'm hearing you. It's our first day of online learning too with our school. So what we do is we just, we grab a deck of cards. And as I said at the start of the lockdown, that a deck of cards is going to be your best friend when it comes to learning a lot of these concepts. So we're talking about doubles today, all right? Now doubling numbers and understanding the, um, understanding what they come to as a double, it's not just about, you know, two, double it is four. It's about when we get into some more complex numbers that this can help. So there are, we're just going to, there's two of us, and I'm going to pretend you're one person, I'm another. And all we do is we, we have a deck of cards, we pick the first card, we both pick a card off the top, all right? And we go, ready, set, go. And I'll hold up, uh, you'll hold up your card in front of your forehead, I'll hold up my card, and then we have to double it. And the first one to double it gets to keep the card. So 12, and you, I know you just said 18, well done. Oh, have a great day, Steve. That was quick. Um, you said 18, but I got it first, so I get to keep this one, all right? I get to keep this one, and this one goes back in the bottom of the deck, and we just continue, okay, playing against our brother and sister or playing against mum and dad, whoever. We're just going over the same information, but we're holding up to our forehead. You're holding it up to your forehead, and I, 18, I beat you. I beat you. I get that. I get that card. Uh, and yours goes into the bottom of the deck, uh, continuing like that. So 12, and you got 14, all right, but I won again. Wow, I'm doing really well. I'm keeping lots of cards. Uh, so you could just repeat this activity through a deck of cards, and then bang, in no time at all, we're going to have that base of knowledge of doubles. All right, so really, really important thing to know is our doubles, our friends of 10, which we've touched on. So this is just another quick, fun activity to get that cemented. Now, if your kids are older, if your kids are older and they've, they've nailed it, they've got the doubles, they're doing so well, you then hold up two cards, boom. So that would equal nine and six make 15, so then they have to double 15. All right, okay, can get, oh, Holly, Holly, I think I just beat you though. Okay, I think I just beat you. <laughs> uh, Holly's lovely. We should get Holly to do a guest lesson on the Mind Master. She's a great teacher. Oh, no, no, we should get her to sing a lesson, a lesson about singing. She's a lovely voice. Um, no pressure, Holly. So that, that's a quick one to do. If you want to get really tricky and clever, you can go to three cards, but most people never get there. So holding up two cards at a time instead of one card as we progress through. All right, so we've got addition, then we've got doubles happening. It's a quick, fun activity, but it can really extend their um, base of knowledge so that they don't have to think about it. Don't have to think about nine and nine is 18. Don't have to think about eight, eight, 16. It's there. It's cemented, just like friends of 10, which are really important. All right, there's um, there's that one. 
that's one of the activities we're going to be doing in lockdown learning, probably on Friday, that one.